Good evening and welcome to Nightline. I am Mary Sloan along with my daughter, Tony Sloan Suchka. And this is our ladies night, but mm -hmm. it is our Christmas ladies night tonight. Yes. You can see all the decor, can't you? Yes, I'm excited. This is um, one of our ladies night I really look forward to. Right, and we call it a view. The world has the view, but we have a view, a vision in every woman. And all of these ladies around this table have got some good news to tell you tonight. That's what we like, the good news, don't we? We got some yummy news, some fun <laughs> news, some sharing of traditions, and then sharing their heart of what the Lord is doing with them as well. So yes. um, we're happy to have them tonight. And one guest, we'll just tell a little bit about them right now. Yeah. D right here beside me in this beautiful red dress. <laughs> She's oh. our ornament. She's in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. She said she didn't get the memo about black, but doesn't she look beautiful? This is Thank you. Bridget Trammell. She and her husband, Josh, pastor of the Heart Church. In Take Heart Church. Take Heart. Okay. Yes. Heart. Take Heart Church. Take Heart Greenville. Church. And uh, she also is... Uh, with the, what's your company? The Health the Dare. Health so Dare. I'm going to dare everybody to try yes. and stay healthy at Christmas, which is going to be hard. Yes. <laughs> We're going to try to stay away from you, Dad. That's right. Well, I'm going to take advantage of what's on this table. I'll right, tell you that right, right now. Right, right, right. Well, thank you for being here. Then over here to her left is Lachey Colson, and she and her husband, Pastor, and she is from Columbia, South Carolina. Yeah. Welcome, Lachey. Uh, we can't wait to hear what you've got to say, too. I'm excited about everybody here tonight. I Who else know. Well, my dear friend Eliane Alves is here. She is my Brazilian princess friend, I like to call her. And she yes. is just um, all things fashion and beauty and health. And so she's going to be sharing more with us. And you see we have all these treats. We'll be telling you a little bit more about that. And this is my friend Lindsay mm -hmm. Crespo. She is going to be sharing in song tonight with um, a special someone that you've brought with you. I sure did. His name is Max. That is. That's his Sis. name. <laughs> so they um, have been dating quite some time now. And they, I think what's so cool is that you guys both lead worship. Yes. And it's so neat how the Lord puts someone in your life to be able to share the passions that you have. Yeah. And so they are going to be singing tonight and leading us in some Christmas songs and yep. in some worship. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. I'm looking forward and to Tony, it. if they're watching us on Facebook tonight, we ask you to... Send us a message, you know, just say, hi, watching, mm -hmm. uh, love Tell you. us where you're watching from. <laughs> yes. Share the show because we've got some, some fun things we're going to be sharing. And yes. um, I know you're going to want to hear more about um, what these ladies have to share as well. That's right. Okay. Tony, why don't you read our scripture for All us? All right. It's Luke 2, 10 through 12. And it says, And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, you shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And that's what this whole season is about, is right. that baby that was lying in a manger. And so we just... Um, thought that was an appropriate right. he was scripture uh, for announced tonight. as the savior not the advisor not the reformer not the committee he was our savior right. and as i was thinking all about this i thought well that was his first coming in the flesh but it was temporary because he was going to be leaving the next time he comes it'll be permanent but that all goes along with the tabernacle too, Tony, where the tabernacle of Moses, they, they built all of that and went through the desert. It was temporary. They would take it down, rebuild it. It was temporary. But when they got to Canaan land and built the temple, it was permanent. Right. It's just all a picture of Jesus it and is. him being here temporarily. And he's coming one day again to be here permanently. Yes. <laughs> yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Well, we wanted to, we like to take the first portion of our ladies' night and just have some fun, right? We yes. like to share fun things. We like to share tips and yes. different things, with whether it's beauty or fashion yes. or whatever. 
But today we're going to share some like <laughs> recipes and some fun things. So, Eliani, why don't you tell me what you got down Lovely. there on the end? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Looks incredible. This one right here. <laughs> yes. So I have right here a panettone. Can you guys say panettone? Panettone. 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 So, cute. <laughs> so this is very traditional in Brazil, and usually you only have this at the end of the year, usually around so pass this time. The plates mm -hmm. to pass so around. we wait the whole year to have. Traditionally you have this with espresso wow. or cappuccino mm. and maybe Do even a little bit of butter. I brought butter here. Ooh. So this one is not a healthy <laughs> snack, you guys. Let me tell you that. <laughs> but it's so you worth it. So the yeah. good thing mm. that usually in Brazil by January, you don't have any anymore in the store, so you know you don't feel that guilt. Oh, no guilt. That's <laughs> yes. good. Oh my goodness! Is this I raisins think he brought in here? this to my house one wow. time. I think I did. Oh. And, and here's the butter. It, and I ate the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> that is delicious. Butter yes. makes everything better. Now this oh, is calorie-free, yeah. sugar-free, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the case here. And yeah. save me a slice because I'll have it after yeah. I oh, yeah. sing. She's, she's <laughs> going to save it for her yeah. boys yeah. after. Yeah. That'd be yes. perfect. Thank you. So yes. now we just need espresso or a cappuccino. Mm -hmm. So who yeah. brought that? Wow. <laughs> I think somebody else brought something else for us to drink, so you can try with that. That's amazing. Now, how is this different from other breads? Um, I see that it's very tall. Yeah. It's about six inches tall. So who brought for us that culture was uh, the Italians, you know? Like Brazil, we okay. usually uh, welcome all cultures, and we just adapted that. So wow. usually now I can find the Brazilian brand here in store, so I love it. Many wow. supermarkets and sometimes even other stores. When I couldn't find, I would buy the Italians. Wow, yes. that's amazing. And you know what I like about it? Just looking at it, you would think that maybe the outside would be hard, but this yeah. is soft. It's it soft. It is. one of those. I remember last year when you brought it to my house and left it, yeah. that I would take a pinch and then uh -huh. another, and another, <laughs> another, and I'd just keep eating it and eating it. So, yes, yeah, very, very And there good. are a few desserts that we make usually at this time, two of the year, using it. So, But I didn't attempt to do this time. <laughs> Maybe another time. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. It almost yeah. has like an orange flavor to it a little bit, yes, like a citrus. A bit. So where yeah. do you get it? Uh, can I say the name? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got this one at Walgreens. Okay. Believe awesome. or not, sometimes at Publix. Walgreens. Yes, that's I, amazing. I went to Publix. They didn't have it, so they had online, but not in store. But all greens had. Okay. And sometimes wow. home and goods. Oh, so wow. if you want to oh, put a touch of Eliani into your <laughs> Christmas <laughs> this year, then you can grab it at any kind of local wow. store. Yes. Then oh. awesome. Uh -huh. All right, Lachey, awesome. tell us what you brought. Okay, I brought something that's very quick and easy to make because I have four kids and I don't have a lot of time to be able to just stand and bake and bake and bake. So what I brought was, it's Ritz crackers, so you just take your Ritz, put some peanut butter in the middle, and then you get the almond bark chocolate, uh -huh. and then you put it in the microwave, you melt it, and then you have to dip it really quick because the chocolate will harden. Yeah. So one of them is just plain chocolate, but I have kids who have like different tastes. So I have a little boy that loves lemon, uh -huh. I have another one that loves peppermint. So what you can do if you have essential oils, you can take just like one drop of peppermint and drop it in the chocolate oh, wow. and that will create like a peppermint wow. taste to the cookie or then my little boy, he loves lemon. So I can put lemon in there. It's a quick variety to be able to give your kids and make everybody happy Yum. all at the wow, same time. You are such now, a good mom. That is amazing. <laughs> just so viewers at home don't head to any essential, you can't do that with all essential oils. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, let's put that no. out there. <laughs> it has to be a pure oil, and one of the the keys is if you ever pick up an oil, look at the peppermint first, and you want to turn around and see supplement facts on there. Okay. And so, if you see where it says supplement facts, that means you can take it internally. But if you pick up an oil, even if it says it's 100% pure oil, yeah. and you turn on the peppermint and it says for external use only or uh -huh. do not use internally. Don't put it's it junk. in your cookies. It's yeah. junk. It's like, <laughs> you know, when you look at fruit juices and it'll say 100% fruit mm -hmm. juice, mm -hmm. and then you turn on the side and there's like all these yeah, words yeah, you yeah. can't yes. pronounce, and then at the bottom it'll say So make 2 sure when you're juice. dipping, you're yes. um, <laughs> putting your essential oil in that chocolate that it's yes. 100 pure. It has with, to be 100% pure. <laughs> yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. So that's something. Well, let's um, wow. pass those around and put them on our plate so right. everybody can taste and see if you can 
There you um, go. I've got these napkins too, yeah. if anybody. That are. rose peppermint. That was delicious. Delicious. plain. So mm. you tell me. So this, which one is orange? This one's got peppermint, and this one's plain. Oh, plain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yum. And so I'll, which one did, did you get? A, um, a peppermint there. All right. Do you get one, Lindsay? A peppermint. <laughs> All right, Thank Bridget you. is this a nice waitress. Yeah. <laughs> and, you. Really and, really and I don't really care if you use your fingers and hand me whatever's on there because I'm trusting that your hands yeah. are clean. So okay. here's some napkins. Mm. Is it so good. Is it yummy? Do you, mm. what, what did you get? Mm. You can taste the peppermint. Chocolate peppermint. Y'all are killing me. I know. Oh. Should I have some first? This is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. So that's pretty mm. easy and quick it's to quick. do. So and just one drop. Just one drop. It's like one it? drop of pure peppermint oil is equivalent to 24 to 28 cups of peppermint tea. Wow. So you wow. just need one drop. That's this it. This is so delicious. Mm -hmm. So mm. nice. And what I'll do is I'll put some of these tips and ideas if you're you're thinking, I'm not going to remember. I'll put them um, on a blog and we'll share them on the Nightline Facebook wow. page. Mm -hmm. So, um, all right. So what I made were um, pumpkin mini muffins. Mm -hmm. And... They are actually healthy. I will oh, have to yay. admit it. <laughs> I am um, eliminating some things right now, and I still enjoy to eat good things. You know, yeah. I want it to taste good, but yeah. these are gluten free, sugar free, dairy free, oh, wow. um, guilt free. <laughs> but it's just something easy for me to be able to grab and go, oh, that's yummy to me, you know? Mm -hmm. So, y'all grab one of those and okay, tell me what you this. think. Here so, you Thank These have much. pumpkin, um, peanut butter, banana, and wow. what makes them gluten free is almond and coconut flour. Okay. Oh my and the goodness. pumpkin makes it super, super moist. Oh my goodness. So, it's like cake. It's almost mm, like a little cake pop. It is, isn't it? And what I normally do oh, that I totally you're, you're forgot delicious. to do because I was just kind of in a rush making these, but I normally put dark chocolate chips in them. I'll put like mm. two or three mm -hmm. um, in each little muffin. So that's just a little yummy because the dark chocolate has hardly any sugar at all. Wow. Now, where were these at Thanksgiving? I needed these. <laughs> oh, these I know. Good. These are delicious. And you know what would be good if, you know, to take something like this and to do even another little smear of almond butter on mm. top, mm. or you could do some coconut uh, cream, yes. or even like um, a friend of mine had a um, vanilla-based ghee you know, all natural, Ooh, and just to mm -hmm. smear that on top. Ooh, it's so so yeah. yummy, wow. yummy. <laughs> I know, I can tell healthy. you 10 That's ways incredible. how to eat that muffin. Yeah. <laughs> or just bring some ways next time. I'll just get right up muffins. Yeah, I'll take the 10 ways. <laughs> My husband had him. I had him in the uh, refrigerator, and he was like, "I could have some." I was like, well, "Don't eat them all. <laughs> I made them for the show." He was like, "Those are really good." Tell so. him to eat the peppermint cookies because he can have those. We're trying to watch yeah. our weight. Yeah. <laughs> all right, mom, tell us your secrets. Oh, okay. Well, y'all get a close-up view of this now. These are called uh, chocolate pretzels with a with a hint of lime, mm. and they are actually very good. And um, I start out making the pretzels just from scratch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I take my chocolate and I just melt it down, you know, and then I add the mint in there. Do then you I use get... a oil for the mint or do you crush <laughs> Don't fresh ask any mint? questions. <laughs> <laughs> I do oil for consumption. <laughs> but that's what I want to know God before I try these <laughs> We use good olive oil. And I heard that you even make your own packaging. Wow. Well, wow. you know, you didn't let me get through now. You take the pretzel and you dip it in the chocolate and the mint. And you can either do that at home or i tell you what. Did you have these printed up? You can just go buy them. There you go. There you go. That's the real secret right I there. was trying to impress somebody with my cooking. <laughs> You did such a great job. I like you guys because when I have a, a Christmas party next week, I'm going to yeah. go into Walgreens and get oh, both of these. Yeah. I have never eaten a better pretzel. It, it has mint in it also. So oh, These are fun wow. little, yes. like, yummy snacks to have during the yes. holidays to just get a little Quick. something yeah. in your coffee, mm -hmm. maybe. So yeah. now you know. But, hey, Eliani, you brought yours from somewhere, too. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's all I could not make this. No shame. No shame. <laughs> 
So, well, I brought the mints. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> she has to keep the Tell voice. us about your mints. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, it's really hard to paint the white and the red. It's just difficult. It's a technique that no one else knows. Or just buy them. It's, or That's you can the buy them at Walgreens. <laughs> Fine, fine. And you even took the paper off of them. Yeah, you know, trying to make it fancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bridget, tell us about these little ornaments that you have here. Yes. So you guys asked me to bring either a treat or a tradition, and we have this fun little holiday tradition. Mm -hmm. So you know when you go into Hobby Lobby or any home store around the holidays, they've got these walls of ornaments, and there's just ornaments everywhere. Yes. So when my kids were little, and they still are under the age of six, I've got two little girls, we go when the holiday season hits and we decide which ornament is going to be our Christmas tree pet. So they can pretty much choose anything right here. This one was bought. This is Lexa. Okay. This is my youngest daughter's uh, ornament this year. And this is Walnut. Aww. And this is my oldest, my six-year-old's Aww. ornament this year. And so these are their Christmas tree pets. Now they sleep in the Christmas tree during the day. Aww. And then when they come from home from school, they run inside and reach in the Christmas tree and pull it out and tell them all the things they want for and Christmas. They can, and they can <laughs> touch them. Yes. And it's, they don't have to be that's moved. Right. The elf, it's, it's a lot low maintenance for Elf on the Shelf. Yeah. A lot more low maintenance ladies, moms out there. I and love if, you're, the if you have a little pet. boy, you could do a little uh, dinosaur, something like this, yes. you know. So, really, the possibilities are endless. You can have any kind of pet you want, but you don't have to move it and you don't have to put little snow angels in the sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No powdered sugar. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I had toilet paper all over my house elves, last night. They, they toilet mess, paper the living room. They? They, they do. Yes, yeah. they do. Yes. Yeah. Ours have kind of tamed down a little. They just move around. Yeah. No more yeah. <laughs> well, you know the, the 11 o'clock panic where you realize you haven't put the elves out at night and you jump up out of bed at 11 p.m. and do the <laughs> You know, they do what they do for they you. Do they do what they do. Yes. Powers have crashed right. into the tree so far this year. They woke up to duct tape on the wall so far. There so you go. Crazy well, wow. you're good. Yeah. So far, yeah. Have they gotten into the essential oils yet? That's, that's what yet. I want to know. They better stay yeah. away. Well, we have, Lindsay is going to go prepare to sing her first yes. song. So I'm going to let you go All ahead right. and get ready Thank for you. that. But Lindsay and Max are going to sing, I believe it is called Closer. Mm. So um, I'm just so glad that we have all of these ladies here with us yes. tonight. What a great group. Wow. I was so, I thought this is just a great group of, of ladies to yes. just mm. have great personalities. Yeah. And they're all so beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, when I was making the graphic, I was like, well, somebody's going to watch just to see all these no. pretty ladies. That's for sure. Oh, you're so beautiful too. So yes. I'm looking forward to hearing more from you guys and more family traditions that you have yes. with your family at, at this time of year. I yeah. know it's a special time of year, especially for everybody, but especially for yeah. believers, you know, yes. to really yes. um, sure. know what, what it means this season. Right. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and go to Lindsay and Max.
Thank you guys, that was so pretty. They're gonna be uh, singing more throughout the program. And one thing that we forgot to mention is that we're gonna be doing some giveaways throughout the program. We got so excited about all this food in front of us, we forgot to mention that. Several, don't we? Yes, and I was even gonna give one away um, right now. So to um, the first caller, before you even know what it is, are you even calling it yet? <laughs> so I thought it would be appropriate to give away a book from a lady who has been on one of our ladies night, and that's Logan Wolfram. She wrote a book called Curious Faith. I'm gonna set it there if you wanna grab a picture of that. But um, anyway, she's been on with us a couple times and shared. We actually did an excerpt um, on our Thanksgiving program nice. of some things she shared. So we're gonna that's give great. this away to the first caller, Curious Faith by Logan Wolfram. All right, so we're going to dig a little bit deeper with our beautiful Bridget Trammell. Oh, Here. wonderful. <laughs> Tell us what you got in that little box. Yes. Well, um, you asked me to talk a little about what I do, and I brought what I feel is the most important gift, not only for women, but also for individuals. And so I brought a little something from my company called the Health Dare, the I Dare You. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the Health Dare right here. And I brought a little something which I believe is my favorite gift and most important gift, and that's the gift of health. Mm -hmm. And not just fitting into a dress. Right. Health is being the best you that God created you to be. Mm -hmm. As we all find our blueprint of what God wants us yes. to be, that's what makes us unique as women. And so the health there is not a um, make you a size two, you know, fit into a cocktail dress type of a, <laughs> a, a program, although we would like to, but I still don't have abs because I have two kids and I'm busy. But mm -hmm. on this theme of ornaments and Christmas, every one of us is a unique 
ornament in God's eyes. And when we be who we're supposed to be and we shine and we sparkle, I will probably be the big round ball, <laughs> the shape, you know. But, but when we, we put, a, put us all together on a Christmas tree, it just shines for God's glory. So at the health there, we're helping people reverse symptoms of type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, getting off these medications, getting off their sleep apnea, CPAP machines. But really, it's from the inside out mm -hmm. and not just Becoming outward. like the optimal you, yes. the best you that God exactly. created you. And I love the way you said that about the ornaments. A tree has ornaments of all different sizes, that shapes, and yes. that are some are loud and sparkly, and some are more subtle. And that's what we are. We're all different, you know. God designed like us to be. <laughs> <laughs> he designed us to be all different that's shapes right. and sizes and personalities. And so I love that, and I think that's great yes. to try and be the healthiest you all year long, mm -hmm. not just yes. you know in January, mm -hmm. um, yes. but to go ahead and start now. That's right. So, that's right. Well, you've been busy. <laughs> yes. Okay. I follow you on social media and I'm like, wait, I thought she had a husband, a pastor at a church and two kids. I do. I do still have a husband. That's, that's a good thing, thing, right? You didn't know to hear yes. that, Tony. I know. I feel so honored that you took time out of your schedule to no, be with us, but I've seen you me. were just recently um, with John Maxwell yes, and then so you started a nice. radio talk show. So yes. tell us what God is doing. Yes. Well, again, this whole um, coaching me is the name of my new radio show. And again, it's not just for women, it's for everyone involved, but the Health Dare company, we've expanded all throughout the East Coast and it's wonderful and we're renovating right now a nutrition center, an educational center in Greenville. I'm putting out a children's book next month wow. um, called The Super Veggie Heroes and the Rotten Mr. Sugar. <laughs> It wasn't so rotten after all. Get the book. We <laughs> launched a sub brand called Kid Fit Nation. So we're teaching and educating mm -hmm. children through these fun characters. But the Coaching Me radio show is really sharing stories from the health dare of how people have transformed from the inside out. And like I said, it really matters what's on the inside and finding God's right. blueprint of yourself. And so I've taken the approach. I had a client um, last year and she came in and said, well, my husband's having an affair and he's really being emotionally abusive and I want to lose weight. And I just shut my curriculum and I said, we're going next door and we're gonna have a piece of cheesecake and we're gonna talk about why it's more important to be healthy on the inside right. before you pursue a health journey and That's calories good. in, calories out. So making this a mind, body, and soul yeah. program that we're sharing mm -hmm. on the radio with others makes the company a business that has a back door to a ministry. Mm -hmm. And we pray before each show and God is just doing amazing things in people's lives. And that's how God uses us. You know, we don't have to be used that's just right. a, among believers. That's right. He wants us to go out. He said, go out and make disciples. Exactly. And if we're all in our bubble, just having, you know, communication with other Christians or believers, right. then we're not doing what he asked us to do. So I think that's, that's right. so awesome yes. that you're taking that opportunity. Well, and being a pastor's wife on the weekends at Take Heart Church, I get mm -hmm. to do a lot of ministry and I love what my husband and I do. If you're local, please come visit us, Take Heart Church over on Fort mm -hmm. Shoals Road. Um, but it's really exciting to have a business that's disguised, a, a ministry that's disguised as a business yeah. during the week and they both just go hand in hand. It's really right. exciting. Well, if you feel challenged with a growing ministry and a growing business, tell <laughs> us about that. Absolutely. Well, and I actually just did a Facebook Live this morning about, again, the theme of ornaments and women being so caught up in the decorations of Christmas. I can't tell you how many times I've had to apologize to my family because I've been so caught up in decorating my Christmas tree and having the perfect recipes. But God wants us to have the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit. And that meek doesn't mean hiding in a, in a corner and being quiet and not talking. Right. It just means my gifts and my strength and my emotions under God's mm -hmm. control so that I can be an ornament for His glory. So wow. we've been talking about a little about that on the coaching show and also at Take Heart Church, you know. I love that. So just relinquishing that to the Lord and letting Him worry about all the things I have to do and just being used by Him. Well, right. what, what makes Health Dare work when all these others yes. don't work? Well, again, the Health Dare 
Number one, it works. It's great science, getting people off their medications and reversing symptoms like the type 2 diabetes and the high blood pressure. It's not just weight loss. Although I lost 80 pounds in 90 days on my own program. Oh, you wow. can go to, wow. <laughs> go to idearegreenville.com and see my picture. But also, we have a huge coaching staff yeah. that basically focuses on each person. We call it vitamin L, which is love. We kind of just surround them with love for 90 days to where they just can't fail. Wow. Amazing. Well, you have enough excitement for it. <laughs> well, I am excited I about know. what God is doing. We've got yes. a little less than two minutes, but for those that don't know your personal story, if you yes. can just share what, how God revealed to you that seeing all these people around you that were unhealthy and how you applied that to yes. yourself. Well, I started out very unhealthy, 215 pounds. I was a single mom of two tiny babies at a, after a very tragic situation uh, with my first husband. He actually passed away. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very, very um, traumatic situation. Um, and so I knew that I had to be healthy to take care of my own children mm -hmm. because no one else was going to be able to. And so I knew that it's kind of like putting on an oxygen mask in an airplane. You got to put it on yourself first right. and then on your children. So God taught me that very important principle. And then I just started sharing it with other people, getting healthy. I lost 80 pounds in 90 Love days. Yes. And here we are, thousands of clients so and nine not, offices later. <laughs> I know. When I first yeah. learned about your, your, you know, the health dare and what you're doing, and I was like, yes. You know who? What business is this? She's she's doing, and I, I didn't know until you shared with us. It's something that yes. the Lord revealed to you, yes. and He has taken your obedience, That's and right. He has blessed it, and now using it to reach others That's through exactly ministry. Right. And again, just finding the you that God created you to be, and not yeah. trying to be somebody else. Right? You know? And aren't we going to do it. a giveaway? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am giving away a free consultation. I a want free it. Can one I run hour. It? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You already have one, Mary. Oh. But it's a free one hour consultation with one of our health coaches. So just go awesome. to one, eight, call one eight seven seven I dare me. They're standing by right now to receive your call. Awesome. Yes. I love it. So you don't have to call the station. You call one eight seven seven I dare me and you right. get a free consultation <laughs> with the health dare. And I dare you. Yes. Yeah. I dare you to be healthy this yeah. December. The Christmas dare. You can eat you can eat your uh, healthy yeah. pumpkins here. <laughs> well Lindsay and Max are gonna sing another song. They're gonna sing Silent Night. Beautiful song, one of my favorites, Silent Night. Holy and she night. sings it so pretty. Oh, amazing. Mm -hmm. You know, Lindsay and Max both, um, I believe, within their church, they work with a ministry called Celebrate Recovery. Mm -hmm. 
And so they give hope to people that have problems with addiction, whether it's addiction with food or drugs or whatever that may be. Um, they're working together, and I think it's so neat to see the Lord use them and their passions together is to food help and others. Addiction? Uh, it can be. Bridget, <laughs> tell me. It is, right? I mean, this food, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wanted to move on to Eliani, a very good friend of mine. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks. When Mom and I were talking about the guests that we wanted to have, she definitely said she she said Eliani's so elegant. Let's definitely <laughs> have her. So thank you for being with us again. Thank you so much yes. for having me Love here. You. I love coming here. Oh, and I'm so I feel glad. so honored every I'm so time glad. I'm here. Thank you. Well, tell us a little bit about maybe some family traditions that you do with your family at yes. Christmas time. You know originally from Brazil. So I try to blend a little bit on you know, all the traditions that I learned here and the ones from Brazil. Growing up, my mother and my grandmother, they are really focused into like just the Christians, just Jesus and all of that. But like now that I have the children, I like blending a little bit more. So I let like Santa Claus also and the <laughs> yeah. gifts, you know, which they love. And one thing that everybody is always surprised about Brazil and Christmas is that this time of the year there is summer. So it's really hot. Oh. So it's pretty much Santa Claus at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is, yes. So, but growing up, you know, I would see always those beautiful snow movies and like so beautiful during the winter. I love having the winter here. Yeah. So I think it just makes it perfect. So yeah. we love getting our natural Christmas tree every year, something we did I didn't have growing up. I, I love having that for my daughters yeah. and usually also in Brazil it's normal for you to celebrate Christmas the big like party and dinner is on the 24th during oh. the night and seriously you only serve like the dinner after midnight how crazy right oh, all the yeah. children are oh. like waiting for dinner and then do you have to wrap midnight. presents after that after cleaning up the dishes no, at midnight <laughs> For the families that celebrate with Santa Claus, you'll come after midnight, imagine. Oh. So you go to church, you come from church, you have your big eve on the 24th, and then you open presents and with families and friends. And so what I do here, I do the 25th in the morning. Yes. <laughs> yes. I think it's so much better. So everybody right. yes. 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 No so wonder I, you I went to Walgreens. <laughs> know between both cultures and I, I love it yes I like That's that awesome. too now I have a picture that I wanted to share of your family of yeah. you and your husband oh, and yeah. your beautiful girls <laughs> so Thank you. I know you also have a, a wonderful painting above your fireplace. Yes, of, I do. It's that, of, that's just one of the girls, right? It's with, both. It's is Isabella it was baby, yes. With Santa. With it's Santa, so yes. Pretty. I wish we had that to share. Yeah, I but, bring out every year and I love that. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> well, I love how you blend your heritage and then yes. the, the new things that you've yes. brought apart yes. with that. Well, you were with us in the summer um, on in, a strength healing program and you shared some of your um, inflammation recipes to reduce <laughs> inflammation. You did a smoothie, you did a hot tea and uh, yeah. water. Yes. So I know that you've been doing a lot, but since then, what has the Lord been doing with Beauty by Eliane? And I got such a good response from that show. It was like until now, last week, my husband was with some people and his friends, they were all saying, you know, that show that your wife was, I'm doing their, her tea. And, and he's like, which show? That show? Yeah, so you, you had, had me. <laughs> you had me too. <laughs> yes. Brazil, what's that? Yes. It's Eliani's tea. Yeah, that <laughs> show was amazing. Like it I was. still get so much response from it, you know, yes. so I love it. But I'm so grateful for all the doors that God has been opened this mm -hmm. year, you know, mm -hmm. since we last saw each other here on the show, uh, God has opened so many other doors for me. I have been able to do a few segments with CBS on Channel Yay. 7, wow. and I'm so grateful for that, you know, also with the health line, because I also believe, like you yes. said, the beauty coming from inside, yes. I believe that God created everything for us, you know, he created nature and we can get everything from nature. We can get from water, we can mm -hmm. get from the fruits, the vegetables. He's so caring 
the way he made our body. And I believe when we are in that line and we are like in alignment with God, it comes from inside mm -hmm. out, you know? Mm -hmm. That's how he created yes. us to be. So I love spreading that word. And every time I get opportunity to share, I love doing that. And I love celebrating women, like just like we are here now celebrating each other's yes. gifts, you know? Yes. Each one of us has a line that we do something different. We're and all I, an ornament. <laughs> Ornaments. Yes. Yes. Ornaments. Yes. yes, and I don't think we have to uh, not like each other because we are different, but instead mm -hmm. we should celebrate, right. you know, right. and yes. then bring it together. So that's what I want to do more. I ha just had the opportunity. You were there with me. Mm -hmm. I got to do a seminar, a woman's seminar, mm -hmm. and, and the title is Uniquely Qualified, mm -hmm. which I truly believed that we are totally uniquely qualified qualified by God, yes. you know, and he has a purpose for each one of us. And that's what I want to carry on till 2019. I want to spread the word. I want to get that tribe, that sisterhood of women, you know, all together so we can learn more of how God wants us in the whole package from inside out and coming out mm -hmm. and with our careness and loving, you know, and blessing each other. Well, you know, yes. it's like Bridget said mm -hmm. earlier, yes. it's not just about physical appearance. No. It's yes. about keeping our spirit healthy and our soul and our body and it yes. all goes hand in hand. And you know, you're talking about the Lord is so kind to give us all of these things from the land. And you know, yes. if we could eat what is produced in season, yes. everything mm -hmm. he does is on purpose. There's nothing everything. that is coincidental. Yes. And so there's reasons that there's certain foods that are in season, right. you know, in the summer and in yes. the winter. Yes. And he did it so that we could be healthy. Like healthy. we're not, you know, getting certain nutrition and vitamins yeah. in the winter. That's right. And so we eat certain vegetables that give us that. Yes. You know, and I love it in the summer. We have watermelon yes. because <laughs> yes. we're dehydration. We're outside. <laughs> yeah. and, you know, so he, yes, there's yes. nothing that is just an accident. Nothing God. is an accident. Nothing. You know, I love that. to remember that. Mm. Yes. It's now, yes. tell us how God opened the door for you. You were like on a panel of women at yes. this uniquely qualified women's yes. conference. Yes. I got reached out from a friend of mine and we, I spoke with the leadership of the, mm. the seminar and they just invited me to go. I was pretty honored to be there, you know. I love the opportunity to be a voice and I'm practicing that each time <laughs> to be more free, to be able to speak speak and learn with all of you <laughs> and like, I just want to really share that message you know and uh, inspire women everywhere and mm -hmm. so we can be what God created us to be right. I, I believe on that mm -hmm. well yes. when you came here to the United States. Could you speak English then? That I couldn't remember. Yeah, I, I couldn't. Amazed at that. I had five I words. I couldn't speak another language. So good. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. Yes. And that's one of the things that I got nervous. I'm like, will they understand my accent? Will yes. I just mix it well, up? They don't Portuguese understand my accent sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love the, the name of your business, Beauty by Eliani, yes. because God loves beauty. Exactly. He could have made everything black and white, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, but he didn't. He made color. Yeah. and he made ornaments <laughs> and that's the word and he gave to me yes. when I started he started talking to me you know I wanted to speak with a woman I wanted to share the first word he gave me was beauty so mm. I was like it's gonna be beauty by Eliani because it's not gonna be like the common beauty that we see out there it's not about outside only right. it's, it's starting mm. from the inside and that's then when right. you start the insides believe it or not it, it starts showing the outside and people yes. start ca uh, catching on that, you know, how yes. I speak and it's just a glow you start having and I'm like, God, and I was pretty much doing everything God was telling me in secret, like for about a year and then I like secret service for God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start sharing, you know? Yes. yes. So well, what I'm are your loving. goals for 2019? Yes, I want to reach more women, and I want to really be able to speak more. I want to, my goal is to be a voice, you know? I want mm -hmm. to be a voice, mm -hmm. and uh, I just want to spread the message that we can be our best self from inside out mm -hmm. with God, mm -hmm. and we can be in the line of our purpose, you know? I think reaching to our purpose and be united. That's my goal. That's yes. wonderful. How yeah. can people um, follow you if they want to keep up with, you know, if you're yes. going to be somewhere? I know you do things at 
um, a lot of events with Greenville as well. Yes. Like, how can they keep up with you? Well, I am really strong on my blog. I have some recipes there, so you can find me. It's beautybyeliani.com. And also, I'm super strong on Instagram. I'm always posting pictures there and recipes. So it's Beauty by Lilika. And yeah, I love watching her stories because <laughs> she lives where there's a river behind her and yes. she'll just, I'm like all in a rush. My hair's frazzled. <laughs> I look frazzled. She's like, listen to the river. <laughs> it's so beautiful out here. And I'm like, how is oh, she the world? doing yes. that? Well, she's got that ornament of <laughs> The ornament of the meek and quiet spirit. Oh, that God it's values. Just like, that's one of the things God taught me to find yes. beauty in everything. That's you know, right. in everything, every little moment, there is something that is beautiful. Well, yes. you are beautiful. She is. You are. You are. Your spirit so is it's beautiful. Like she just stepped out of a magazine. Yes. Oh, you guys are so oh, I'm going to follow you for tips for I beauty. Know. <laughs> You I know I want to be just like too. her when I grow up. Yeah. Thank you I so much. So, yeah. Well, yes. thank you for just You're sharing welcome. some of your family tradition. And yes. um, don't call me after midnight. <laughs> 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 one we all day, will be one up day. at midnight. Yeah. Though. <laughs> well, we have another song, I yes, believe. Yes, we do. Lindsay and Max are going to sing uh, "King of the World." single 
Oh, another beautiful song. I'm going to go ahead and invite them to come over here as we begin to end this first hour. Um, they just have such a heart for worship. I wanted them to come and share a little bit about that and how the Lord is using them to bring hope to people and to minister to people and just where their heart is. And remember that we have our nine o'clock hour as well, so stay with us as we continue um, through this Christmas show. But um, I just appreciate the two of you just ministering together. And I know that Lindsay's told me, Max, that you have a heart for worship. So mm -hmm. I would just love for you to share what's on your heart. Okay. Well, um, in my life, I've always, I've always loved music. I've always really had a passion for it. And it was something that I kept, you know, I'd hide. I'd hide and go play guitar somewhere and, and just keep it to myself. And, um, it wasn't until about two years ago, a little over two and a half years ago, whenever I came up to South Carolina from Florida to, uh, to get help for a drug addiction, which is why, why I'm in ministry with addiction. Um, I ended up finding out that my hunger for music was so much part of my personality because I was called to worship my whole life. And I just now, just now stepping into what the Lord had planned for me. But uh, it just, it means so much to me just because uh, Whenever I look at where I was and where he's brought me to, it's just a way, you know, not just with a guitar or with a microphone or anything like that, just just how I live in a way that says thanks. You know, thanks for all you've done for me. Thanks for taking me from where I've been to where I am today. And so, you know, this, just this morning I was in my quiet time and I was broken because I was, I was thinking, um, wow, you know, look, I was here, and now I'm, I'm in a spot where, you know, I've got a job. I've got uh, all these awesome things happening in my life. I feel like I'm stepping into the destiny I was called to, and uh, I was really, I was really thanking him for you this morning. Mm -hmm. um, I spent a lot of time in the in the private place, in the quiet place, praying and asking God for someone like you, and uh, someone I can worship with. And, mm -hmm. I want to spend my life with you. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh my gosh. Will you marry me? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even look at her name. She didn't even look at her name. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. What a special, this is special a first moment. For us, isn't it? Yes. Is, I don't know. It's just my knuckle. I'm he so proposed okay. on TV. What could be better okay. than that? Yes. Yes. That was so beautiful. Oh, wow. Awesome. Oh, 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 <laughs> Congratulations <Yeah>. to you. <laughs> no, 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 it's <laughs> We didn't tell everybody. But yeah. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I think it's so special. I really do that you got the Lord has brought you guys together to not only minister together, but that now He's going to bring you together in a union of marriage. And you know, Max had reached out to me, um, and before he even said the Lord, I was sitting at my computer. Mm. And the Holy Spirit said, he's going to ask you if he can propose to her on the show. Wow. <laughs> and he I just said, I have a couple questions about the oh, show. Wow. And, um, oh, 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 so pretty. Just don't get my nail that I just ripped off. So I just, I think it's so awesome that it, that it all came together. So, um, yeah. So when I saw you guys on Sunday at church and I was meeting him for the first time, I was like, don't blow it. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Yeah, she was, she was I had no loop. idea. Was I, had I was idea. like, don't, don't say anything. I was like, yeah, she calls me before the program today and said, mommy, you will not say said, a word. Don't, <laughs> don't, 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 don't
was gonna wear a dress this morning too and I did it. <laughs> Well, we're so honored that we are even a part of such a special moment yes, in your life. Yes, and I know that God has yes. big plans for you both. And I know Lindsay just said, yeah, you have prayed for someone. I know Lindsay, you have prayed and sought the Lord for him to Seven bring years. a perfect person yeah. and man. And what an awesome man that he brought someone who so loves cute. the Lord. <laughs> yes, I can attest to that. He's taken now. <laughs> we can say that now for sure. Awesome. Wow. Well, we're going to be back in our um, nine o'clock hour after all of that excitement and Lindsay and my, we didn't want her to have to sing right after that. So we're going to give her a couple minutes to break before she has to sing again. So um, don't leave us. Stay with us. We're going to have some more giveaways. We're going to hear from Lachey is going to share on oil and water. Um, <laughs> we've got some gifts that we're going to give out to. Right, and right, we're going to we hear more from um, Lindsay and Max. We're only going to give her, what? what is it, two or three minutes she has to gather her <laughs> composure and she's going to be singing again. I told Max, I said, we can't spring this on her and then tell her to sing right after. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that so, was great. Oh, Beautiful. I know. Was such a sweet, sweet moment. You never have had that before. No, no. <laughs> I, know, I know. That's exciting. That's the best Christmas gift right yes. there. Yeah. It's a great ornament right, right. there. Yeah, she's got an ornament. Yeah. It's your ornament. Well, it's yeah. Sweet. We want to pray. We have um, our prayer partners. I know yes. that many have um, oh, called in for prayer. And so, Bridget, would you just close yes. us out in prayer tonight? Yes. Father, I thank you so much for the beauty that you have given us all around us as we see love of this special couple, as we see Eliana's sweet heart for you, Father, as we're getting ready to hear about oil and water. And I thank you for Tony and Mary and their heart to spread beauty during this Christmas season. I pray that you help us to show your beauty from the inside, from the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit as we bring you glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.